Hi, hello, how are you? I'm well, thank you for asking. We are back again with another YouTube video of Pokemon Shining Pearl gameplay. Uh, in our playthrough here, in our last episode, we uh, went down the black road, we went and helped out, I think, it, what's her name, Maylene? Is that her name? In that cave where she's lost. Uh, where nearby where you can get a gibble. Unfortunately, we could not get a gibble ourselves, uh, but we will move on from here and hopefully catch him later on in our playthrough. Now, off screen or off stream even, I have done a little bit of work. So I went and put ball capsules on a couple of the main ones. We also added a new member to our team, Skaroopy. So initially, Drapion wasn't gonna make my team, uh, but as it turns out, not being able to get Gibble means that a spot has freed up for a little while. Uh, so we're going to have uh, some of our Pokemon here, uh, a few of them in fact, are relatively late game Pokemon. So instead of just having our team be empty that whole time, I thought I'd start to fill it up. So we added a Skaroopy here, let's have a look at his summary. Holding a Poison Barb, Quiet Nature, so boosted special attack, lowered speed. Now his special attack is very low, uh, but with it being boosted, there's the potential for him to become a little bit of a mixed attacker. So, uh, and his stats were also quite higher than some of the other Skaroopy that I caught uh, that were actually levels above him, a few levels above him. So this is why we picked this one. Um, we didn't get any very good natures, unfortunately. No boosted attack, no boosted defense, but uh, I'm still pretty happy with this guy. Oops, we'll just go back. And he's got Confuse Ray, Bug Bite, Venoshock, and Knock Off. So, very keen to have Skroopy here on the team. Uh, and, to start today's stream in our episode here, we're going to be adding another member through the Oroberg Mining Museum. I believe this is where I need to go to develop some fossils. Hello, hello, how are you? I study Pokemon fossils. Me, right, right here, like in front of you, as we're talking, I study them. You have a fossil for me, yes. Shall I turn it into a Pokemon? Yes, I would like that. Let's do the armor fossil first, because if I'm correct, the armor fossil is shield on, right? Hopefully I've got that right. Uh, what I'll do though, just quickly, is that I will create some room. I think we need room in our party, right? I may be wrong with that. I don't actually remember. Uh, we'll move out Manaphy for now. We'll just chuck him there because we may actually not even need to move him. So we'll do the first one and then we'll, we'll find out. So we're adding shield on through the fossils, but it's actually going to be Kranidos that we'll be adding into our team today. Hello, hello, how are you? Yes, yes, yes. You were gone too long. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I was gone for about five seconds. Shield on, very nice. I'll take that, thank you very much. No, we don't need a nickname. Uh, and now while we're here, let's get our Kranidos prepared. So, obviously, in Pearl... Oh, sorry, what's... Oh, he's doing it, okay, yep, I've misread it. Uh, so in Pearl, you can't actually get the fossil for Kranidos, but uh, my brother who's playing the uh, brilliant diamond version. Uh, he was able to find one for me and trade it over. So we're going to add him to our team. Oh, what I should have done is probably saved and tried to get a good nature, hey? Let's just fingers cross that we got a good one. Lowered speed, boosted attack. Let's have a look. I know boosted attack is good. But does he need any speed? Speed, yeah, speed's pretty low, so... Awesome! I'm happy with that. So we're gonna have Kranados in our team moving forwards and hopefully eventually we'll get a Rampados. So we'll make some decisions later on. But right now we're into a double battle to start things off. Go for it, my Pokemon. I'll do... I suppose I'll try as well. But you, you do extra good. I'll, I'll try my best, but like you... You know. You guys are in charge here. A Panita and a Pachirisu. Not 
a great matchup for us, actually. But I don't really have any worries, because I reckon we're, yeah, definitely higher level than they are. Kranados, level 6 already, brilliant. So you should fly through some levels here. Kranados is going to be our big, our big hitter. Um, he's unfortunately not going to come in very useful in our next couple of gyms because I believe... Actually, he doesn't have much use in many of the gyms, to be completely honest. Uh, let's bug bite on this one. Next up is the fighting gym. Then after that is the water gym. Uh, then we have ghost, which sh he should be fine against ghost, I think. Um, but then we go into steel types. I don't know how rock goes against steel. Uh, and then we have ice, which uh, I always get ice mixed up with what it's effective against and what it's not. Whether it's ground or if it's rock. One of them I know is, I think, pretty good. Uh, and then we move into the electric gym. So he's not going to really come uh, or be very handy with much use until later on in the game, Rampados. But he just looks cool. So, you know, I'm happy to have him. Crit. Very nice. I did want to get the ability on Scorpy and, and Drapion where, I think, is it Sniper? Maybe? Uh, oh, a Chimcha. Uh, where, I think critical hits do, it's like two times damage or two and a half times damage versus it's either 1.5 or 1.75. I can't quite remember what the numbers were, but Critical hits did a lot more damage, um, which means that basically any time we crit someone, we would just completely take them to task and and knock them out. And I'm pretty sure he has moves, or at least one move, that boosts his critical hit rate. Granados up to level 9, you love to see it. A Geodude. Oh, I don't think we'll be able to do much here. Weird that Rock doesn't resist bug, I feel like. What's a bug gonna do to a rock? You know? I suppose they, like, live near them? I don't know, I'm trying to, like, work this out in my mind. Nice. Little known fact, Scorpies eat Zubats for breakfast. Yeah. Scorpions love to eat bats, so you gotta expect it, you know? Scorpies go into little caves, they take all the Zubats out, and they just give them a good old munch. Look. Brilliant. Rare candy. You'll take one of those. Uh, yeah, so this this bit will make it to YouTube. So, a dire hit. Excellent. Uh, the way that these episodes will work, and have been working, is that I'm going to cut out a lot of these battles, because otherwise... Okay, let's be quick about this. Exactly, let's be quick about it. Uh, you just take too much time battling just random root trainers uh, and you don't want to spend all your time on an episode doing that. You'd rather get to the gym battles, the more important encounters uh, and things like that. Also, I hope you've noticed that Scorpy's Pokeball has a capsule on it. How do you like it? You think it's good? I think it's okay. I haven't got many stickers yet. I'm going to get some more, but um, i got to remember where that person with the berries for trade was. Uh, also, I might need someone's assistance on this, but I heard, or well, when I was talking to my brother, he mentioned that to get Spiritomb, you know, you have to speak to 32 people underground, uh, NPC characters, does that only start counting once you've put the keystone back into its place, so you've interacted with the little thing for Spiritomb? Does that... Is that right? I, I don't know. I thought it was just from any time that you've started talking to people. Um, but maybe not. I think it does make sense that it's probably once you uh, start or have clicked it in. But I didn't hear that anywhere. But it makes sense. Because I've been talking to a few people already, but I'd maybe be at like 5 or 6 max. Nowhere near 32. 
Um, so it's going to take me a while. That's why I don't think we'll probably use Spiritomb as much in this playthrough, or at least not right away um, once we can get him, because it's just going to take way, way too long uh, to get him. If I do get Spiritomb, it'll mostly be done off stream, and then I'll try and save the moment and record it and whatnot. Um, it's unfortunate that I couldn't show you me getting Skaroopy, I just happened to be doing it off stream. Um, but that's why I saved Kratodos for you, so that you didn't miss out. Kratodos up to level 11. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Huh. Didn't take much to beat us. Yeah, well, I'm a very highly trained 10-year-old. We'll get them going. I'm pretty sure we meet Cyrus up here, right? Always checking for items. Yeah, doesn't, we, doesn't he talk to us here? Yes. Gosh, you look silly, Cyrus. I mean, who is this? I have no idea. What's my voice going to be for Cyrus? Uh, should I stick with the Team Galactic dumb voice that I've been doing? Or should I go a little bit more sinister? According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded. There should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. The world is being ruined. I find the state of things to be deplorable. Oh, excuse me while I jump up the stairs out your way. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm set on that as a voice for him. Uh, I tried to... Yeah, sure, we'll smash a rock, eh? Uh, I tried to keep, like, the essence of the obnoxious Team Galactic voice that I had been using. Hey! But also make it a little bit darker and not quite as dumb sounding. But also, like, you got to keep the dumb sounding because he's the ultimate dumb boss. So, you know. We'll see how we go, though. We'll workshop it. We'll workshop it. No harm, no foul doing that. Oh, <laughs> you're a big man. He is a very large man. Hiker Robert. Send out Geodude. Robert, send out Geodude. Try and practice some, you know, I think Robert is one of the better words to practice your American on. You hit those R sounds, and your Rob for Australia turns into Rob. Robert? There's my little tip for you on how to speak American and say the word Robert, or the name Robert. Robert? Robert. What's that? Everybody loves Raymond? Don't watch that. See, knockoff is essentially useless against NPCs for the most part because none of them really hold items. Occasionally someone might hold a berry, uh, but that'll be like in a gym. They won't actually use any decent items. Pokemon can't make it difficult, you know. There's no life orbs going around or anything, you know? That's that's one easy way for Pokemon to up the AI, is just give them held items. Very small thing to do. I'll have to look up if more, more Pokemon actually do have held items or not. Uh, cannot rock climb yet, so we won't be going up there. Can't surf either. One of my big gripes. Jonathan, that's my cat. I have a cat named Jonathan. We love to go with, hu well, I do. I don't know about everyone else in the family, but I love to go with uh, human names for our cats because is that not hilarious? Like my cat is John. You just say hi to John, you know. Uh, but John is is a he's super athletic. Man, he can jump from the floor to the ceiling, just straight up one go. He's a wild boy. Alright, let's go into Heart Home City. Heart Home City. I used to call it Hearth Home, but I'm pretty sure it's Heart Home, right? <gasps> Who are you? You're gonna enter? Oh, well, I'm not. So. Now, I've gotta to remember to click these things. Oh, I'll do it after. But they show, like, the city from a different angle. It's quite cool. Oh, thank goodness that you happened to be there. If it weren't for you, 
who knows what she would have done. Maybe run and, you know, disappeared forever. Get back into the ball, you dummy. I'm Kira. I'm a Super Contest show judge. You should uh, come by and I'll let you win. We would never, we would never take a victory like that. We gotta earn them. Okay, no, it's not there. Where is it then? Where's... Is it here? Is this here? Yes. See, when I see pictures like this, it just makes me want the camera angle to come back down, you know? You're a trainer, aren't you? You've got two choices of challenges. Either the gym or a super contest show, right? You are correct. That is the two the two types of uh, things. Good Rod? I was impressed by their kindness and generosity to a complete stranger. Now, may I offer you the courtesy of showing you to the contest hall? Yeah, sure, man. Ah, please follow me. Oh, I should have healed up Scarpy again. God dang, what is that building? We can only walk in straight lines. Remember that. Please do go inside. Okay, well, let me heal up first. And then, might check out that fancy looking building down the, the corner. Okay, we'll have a quick look here. It looks a bit like a, uh, be a religious site, like a mosque or something. Oh, look. It looks rather religious. There are still words that not everyone can describe. The words are love and joy. Okay, very introspective. And there do I see my father, my son, my life. And there do I see nature, Pokemon, the world. So that's Mount Coronet, obviously. That's quite a cool uh, little picture. It just makes me keen to... I'll, I'll check some of that out more off screen, I think. <gasps> I think we can start to walk around with a Pokemon now. Right? Let's make sure we got Scorpion in the front. Because Kranidos is still not quite ready, but... Kranidos, I think, could start to verse some people in the next, the next route, for sure. Um, but we'll go and speak to this lady up here. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please, excuse me. What? Are you doing a super contest show? I don't. I think she's French, right? I don't know how to do a French accent. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, please. Incidentally, Fantina, the Hatom gym leader, also happens to be a super contest show expert. And you may ask yourself, how do I know this? Well, I am Fantina. You may challenge me, but not yet. You must become much stronger. Then you may challenge me. I don't know what kind of accent that was. I just tried to make it kind of like... Attractive. And foreign. <gasps> Hello! Oh, my hero! One of my favorite songs. Foo Fighters, my hero. Oh, and it's... Mum. Hi. Wait, no, really, she's your mum? Dude. She's kinda hot. She might be a super contest show star. Oh, I don't know. Liam doesn't really do that sort of thing. He's more into the uh, the gym battles. I'm surprised you two know each other though. Yeah, I just saved a child's life. Yes, we need to get thanked for oh, an ethereal sticker. Place that sticker on one of your ball capsules before I show you. Well, in a nice touch of sophistication. If I do say so myself. And glamour. I'm a show judge, so, so come join us for all kinds of fun. If you're unsure of yourself, we also offer uh, practice sessions. Just a heads up. Okay, bye bye See you later. Were you surprised to see me? Yes. I got bored, so I just travelled half the region uh, and got here before you somehow. I'm just surprised to see you. How are you surprised to see me? I told you I was literally going across to all the cities. You knew that was probably a chance. Uh, I don't want to enter the... Ooh, a tuxedo. I am going to be rocking that, that's for sure. Go enjoy the Super Contest shows. I mean, usually I don't wear clothes picked out by my mum. I will admit. Uh, but... Actually, off stream, I changed my trainer appearance in the Unity room to... Oh, that's a sick looking Luxray. Um, 
I changed it in the Unity room to be a rich boy, I think. <laughs> and so that that tuxedo is going to go very nicely. Okay, let's make our way up here and hopefully we can start to get some Pokemon followers. Hello. In Amity Square, you may go for a stroll with a cute Pokemon. Which Pokemon would you like to stroll together with? Really? None of these can... Why are they ineligible? What? I'm going to have to look that up. Oh man, Grottle's slow. So... I thought any Pokemon, basically, could go with you. Vault Switch. That's not bad. Hey, dude, do you know why we can't walk with all of our Pokemon? Uh, like, I thought you could bring out everyone. Hello? Um, no, I don't really want to cook. Oh, you need a puffin case. Excellent. Attract. Get some goodies. I'm going to have to look up either off stream or something like what the deal is here. Awesome. Because isn't there like, I feel like I've seen some scenes, seen some scenes <laughs> where all of someone's Pokemon got released. You know? These are ruins from a long time ago. Oh, I wonder if I'll show them. Amulet coin, yes. Alright, that's what I will definitely be giving to some of my Pokemon out in the front. A spooky play. Spooky. Don't get scared. Oh, Grotto, have you found anything? Sparkles, shiny. What do you mean you're almost tripped? You're like not even moving, dude. Uh, yeah, I'm finished. Are you feeling refreshed? Please come again. Oh, it looks like the Pokemon that was taking a stroll with you wants to go out. Only special trainers can make their Pokemon feel that way. I'm pretty sure that your Pokemon would be delighted if you let them out of their Pokeballs outside the square too. I can do that? How do I do it? How good. Can I not pick anyone else? Yes. You'll walk with Scarpy. Good, Scarpy. Good boy. Good boy. I think you're a girl. You're not. Good. You're a good boy. I didn't think we could do the gym battles yet. Here. Hey there, how's it going, Trainer? You being here tells me you're going to challenge the gym leader. Well, I hate to break it to you, but that's uh, not going to be possible today, bud. You're wondering why? Oh, and the answer is she's not here. Just come back again, alright? I mean, we literally passed her, and she's like, Oh yeah, I'm the gym leader, oh, you're going to battle me, and then she just pisses off. Some gym leader she is, huh? Uh, but that's good, though. That means we don't have to change our team, and we can ma Oh! Ta-da! Ha! Huh. Classic Mike. With the shock game. Kept me waiting again, Liam. Let's see how much tougher you are. You and I have gotten, sorry. Right here and right now. Hey, you're a trainer now. You're expected to be ready for a battle. No fucking whinging, alright? Let's go. Uh, look, dude. You're gonna get absolutely annihilated. He's got four Pokemon. Starly. Excellent. That's actually not good for us, is it? Uh, yeah, look, we're gonna switch. We'll go to Luxio. Oh, I didn't give the amulet coin to anyone. God dang. So, I, I, I something that I want to do is start to utilize switches in battles more often. Um, because I genuinely actually don't switch out very much. I kind of just let them go down and then go from there. But I feel like it's actually going to be better and, and more beneficial to, to start to switch out. 
Oh. Oh no. This could spell some, some trouble for us. I mean, I'm really not concerned because we're nine levels higher than them, which is kind of insane. How's he only gone up seven levels from the time, or like ten levels, barely, uh, since our very first battle, now two gyms later? Like, how, how did he go through a turn of forest and get to now and only just be getting to level 19, you know? I mean, he does have a fire type and a flying type, so... Dude, Luxio kind of wrecks him. Oh yeah, I'll show you something wicked. Oh, that was wicked, Harry. Sorry, I quote Harry Potter like a lot. <laughs> Excellent, Weasel's done. Dude, Luxio out here just smashing dudes to pieces. Okay, we'll change for Roselia. How's that sound? We'll go back to Scorpy. Kranados, you're coming along very slowly, my friend. You might have to do some uh, leveling off, off stream. So you got the, I got the purple haze and then the black smoke. I think that's kind of good on the ball capsule for Scorpy. And Grass Knot does nothing. Excellent. Switch game on point. We'll vanish off because he's got the poison barb. So this should do more damage. And I think Roserade's poison type, right? But I don't think Roselia is. Let's use knockoff. Let's see if let's see if he's got something. I doubt it. But can't hurt to check. Bang. Nope, doesn't have anything. Excellent. Well, we should be able to finish him here. Very good. Very good. And onto our final one, which will be his Chimchar, or hopefully his Monferno at this point. Because these guys should have evolved, but yes, Monferno. Excellent. Now, I don't have a water type, so if his Monferno is actually any good, he could just steamroll me here. But, uh, you know, let's Let's confuse him. Oh, unless he takes us out first. No, we should be okay. We might even live one more. And he's confused. Very good. Okay, battle. Uh, let's bite some bugs. Yeah, okay, I would have been sticking to Flame Wheel. Rather than trying to lower my defense. But now if he hits me with a Flame Wheel, I'm definitely done. Uh, okay, not very effective. Let's go with a Venoshock. Yeah, okay. We sh this will probably get us. Yep, okay. How about I send out uh, Kranidos? Maybe Kranidos. I mean... Doesn't have it doesn't have a rock move yet, but uh, flame will should hopefully not do very much, except he is way higher level. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, he does have rock polish. Excellent, Leah. That lowers the defense, so we could lower his defense and then headbutt him, potentially. And he hasn't hit himself once. Oh, and he has a fighting type move, of course. Sorry, Kranidos. My bad. If I have a revive, I am going to revive Kranidos because um, I need. I want him to get the levels, and Monferno is like the main one. See, I told you, Monferno's got a real chance to like go straight through us. He's he would if he was similar level, he'd destroy Monferno. At uh, Monferno would destroy Monferno. He would destroy what's his face, Grottle. Do I not have a revive one? I have one revive. Did I not buy, or could I not buy any of the roots that revive them? Revival herb? Well, I've got one revive, so I'll give it to Kranidos. Just so we can get some levels. Um, and because remember, during a gym battle, I'm not allowed to revive anyone. Uh, and eventually, I would like to implement that against 
uh, in battles against my rival. And so maybe I will, but I'll have to look up where we verse him more often. So maybe from now on, I'll try and plan out when we're going to face our friend Mike here. Excellent, a, para a paralysis. Uh, I'll try and plan out when we're going to face our rival friend. And then I will try and be prepared because you can't like stop just before seeing him and then put the Pokemon away. So, uh, but I reckon that could be good. If we can make the challenging battles also happen against our friend, I think that'll be even more interesting. So we'll see how we go. Monferno faints. Excellent stuff. Kranidos, full level. See, that's why I did it. Yeah, we'll learn takedown, of course. Uh, we'll do it for focus energy. I don't really use that. Ta da! And it learned takedown instead. What just happened? You're telling me I. I lost. Is that. I. Didn't even know that could happen. <laughs> oh, you KO'd my team again, you old... Oh, you wily little fox. This messes up my dream of becoming the greatest trainer ever. No. I just need to get tougher and keep winning. One day, I... That's it. I'm going to challenge the Veilstone Gym next. Liam, I'll bet you there. You're going to be blown away by how much tougher I'll become. I don't think that I will, Mike. Okay. That is going to end our episode there. I'm going to quickly go and heal while I do my little outro bit here. Um, so in today's, we crossed over through, not Mount Coronet, but the, the mountain range in the middle. We also got to add Kranidos to our team. Hang on, let me just stop and we'll have a good look at our team. Okay. I reckon that's a better idea. We'll get out of here. Okay. Now, that's going to do it for our YouTube episode here. Episode uh, 5, I believe. Um, in this one, we went and added Kranidos to our team, which was nice. We also uh, went and got a shield on with the fossils, but shield on will not be joining us. Uh, but Kranidos will be, and he's come along nicely to level 15 so far. We'll have a quick look at him again. Boosted attack is going to be very hard hitter. Uh, but lowered speed, unfortunate. Um, and we also, we crossed over the mountain range, made our way into Heart Home City, uh, went and spoke to some people around the town, did a bit of a walk, did a bit of a walkabout. We can now have our Pokemon follow us. We've got a little Scorpy here, scuttering, scuttling along. Um, and we fought our friend and rival, Mike, and absolutely demolished him. So we're also going to try and implement our gym leader rules into the battles with Mike, but that's going to take a little bit more planning ahead of when he's going to show up. So I'll try my best, but we'll see how we go. Um, stay tuned next episode, but we're going to go and put our little odd keystone in and we'll start to make our way to Valstone City. Uh, so yeah, thanks very much for watching YouTube. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.